I don't feel like doing coronavirus talk. It's bad. Uh, Eric and I are really literally going to shut down. So like in one week's time, Houston, the city, has gone from 800 cases a day to 4,000 cases a day, guys. New York City is, the city is averaging 10,000 cases and it's doing, like I, I think the other day it was like 18,000 cases. New York it is bad. Miami's going up and that's Omicron, guys. But the rest of the country, all of the red states y'all see, that's Delta. And Delta's bad. And, you know, Omicron surge. Oh, don't, man, don't listen to people. You know, South Africa's already, like, going down. Like, dude. I mean, it was, you know, seven weeks of Omicron. Florida's gonna get hot. Three, that's right, Robin. 350% increase in Florida. 350% increase. So Florida's gonna light up like a Christmas tree, man. It's not gonna be good. And, you know... I just don't want to really talk about it. <clears throat> Will you need a fourth shot? I think if you're immunocompromised, uh, have health issues, and it's been more than, you know, maybe six months since your booster, since your third shot, I would get a fourth shot. I don't plan on getting a fourth shot anytime soon. I just got uh, my booster, my third shot three weeks ago. So, I'm at my peak of protection. If I come down with COVID, then I come down with COVID. And hopefully it'll be minimal symptoms. People are going like, it's milder! It's milder! Okay. But let's say Delta has a 2% uh, case fatality rate. If you catch it, 2% chance of dying. So what does milder mean? 1%? You want a virus that's gonna kill 1% of the people who catch it? Like, are you stupid or something? But the flu kills people every year. The flu, it's like 1% would be 100 times more deadly than the flu. This is where people can't do fucking simple math. It just drives me nuts. So, I mean, the case fatality rate for influenza is something like 0.01%. And you're talking about 1% for maybe Omicron, maybe 1% for Omicron, 2% for Delta. And that's assuming you even know. Omicron might be 2%. We don't know yet. We just don't know yet. I would disregard all the stuff out of South Africa. We're waiting on the UK data. We already know that somebody's died in Houston. It's just, you know, it's not good. And we're about to gather for Christmas. So you're gonna have a surge. And then you're gonna gather again for New Year's where you're hugging and kissing and singing. And, and we know that you're having break, we're having breakthrough cases with Omicron. And New York City's right for like cutting out, like canceling rockets and, you know, they're canceling NFL football games, NHL's canceling games, NBA's canceling games or postponing games, concerts, you know, all sorts of stuff. Yes, in-person stuff, they need to chill out. And if for people who are like, you know, South Africa is already going down, good. Then you can wait a couple weeks. If you really believe that that's what's gonna happen with Omicron here in the United States, then you can chill out for a couple weeks. It's not the end of the world. But people don't think that way. They think Omicron is burning through, like going down in South Africa, so I can do whatever the fuck I want. Like, what? Okay. I don't get it. You know, I talk about this a lot, about emotional control. Like, you gotta be able to control your emotions, yo. That's how you succeed in life. You know? That's it. Stay safe, man. Protect yourselves. And... The, the current cases are Delta, Omicron's coming up, and in January, you're gonna have, we're gonna have a dual pandemic, plus remember, uh, up to a third of healthcare providers, and that includes nurses, techs, everybody delivering healthcare, will be out sick. Supply chain issues, delivery men, grocery store workers, 
restaurants are going to close or it's already happening here in Houston. Staff is sick with, with the COVID. So restaurants are closing down temporarily. And then we're going to have the holiday surge. Uh, we're going to get together for Christmas and then we're going to get together for New Year's. So you're pushing this shit into the end of January, which is what we saw last year. And then February starts the, the decline. So if we're lucky, it'll be February. And hopefully done, you know, with Omicron in March. And then we'll have a respite. Hopefully we can convince enough people to get vaccinated. And a small surge in the fall. And little tinder flare-ups all through 2003, 2004. And you can't declare endemic status until 2030. That's my prediction. 2030, that's how long it will take. Can you control your emotions for that long? People are weird. <laughs>